we would like to give a special thanks to Super Impulse for providing us with the arcade games. Today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at World's Smallest. This is Qbert Tiny Arcade. It is the smallest fully functional arcade game. Try me. Ah! It actually works! We also have Tetris. I love Tetris. It is one of my favorite games growing up. Let's take them out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, these are keychains. So you can take your mini arcade games wherever you go. Standing three and a half inches tall, they are a lot smaller than the mini arcade games you can find at Walmart by Basic Fun. Let's see, which one has a better picture? Can you see that one? Where's the picture? There's, you can kind of see the game right there, okay. And here's this one. It's definitely brighter. But this one does give you a larger screen. Basic Fun has the on-off switch in the front and you can control the volume. Whereas for Super Impulse, the on-off switch is in the back. On both games, the joystick actually moves and they are great options for our tiny dolls. Perfect for shoppies and little shoppies. Or hair durables and LOL surprise. Use more than one to build a working mini arcade. And there are a lot to choose from. In the packaging, there is a small collector's list that shows you all of the tiny arcade games that are available. Who's up for a quick game of Tetris? Oh, wait. Um, that's not, no, not that way. Oh, okay, nope, can't turn it. How do I turn it? Here we go. Um, yeah, I'm not good at this. After getting the tiny arcade, I went hunting for world smallest all over town. Four Targets, two Walmarts, and a Cracker Barrel restaurant. And this is everything I found. Prices were not the same at all stores. At one Target, I got all of these buy two, get one free, with a regular retail price of $4.99. At another Target, they weren't on sale. At a Cracker Barrel restaurant, these two were $5.99 and this was $8.99. At one Target, the blind boxes were $4.19, but then at another, they were $4.99. So, yeah. But it looks like $4.99 is about the going price range for some of our favorite toys in miniature like the world's smallest Little People School Bus by Fisher Price. All of the little people are stationary inside, the doors actually open, the stop sign moves, and when it rolls, the eyes move and so does the bus driver. World's smallest Lincoln Logs. Inside, there are a whole bunch of little pieces so you can create. Yes, we built the log cabin. And at this size, let me just say it's not, <laughs> it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. But this would look great in a kid's room in the dollhouse. This one says world's coolest. It's a keychain. It makes sounds to seem like you just took a picture. Now this does not come out, but you do have to just push it right back in. The scale is a little large for our 10 to 12 inch dolls. Light bright! You get one light board, 15 sheets, and 150 pegs. Place one of the designs on top, insert a peg to see it light up. My star is glowing! We have two Care Bears, Grumpy Bear and Funshine Bear. They are perfectly scaled for our 12 inch dolls. However, the Magic 8 Ball looks like it would fit our 18 inch dolls, like our Her Story dolls or American Girl. It goes perfect with our Smart Dolls too. And the Polaroid camera is perfect for them. Will I be able to find all of the BTS dolls when they come out? Aww, there's too many bubbles. 
I really want to know the answer to this question, so we're going to use our Gudetama Magic 8 Ball. Will I get all of the BTS dolls when they come out? And the answer is... Yawn, most likely. Yes! <laughs> Love you, Gudetama. World's smallest Rubik's Cube. And yes, it works! Both ways! I love this! But if I mess this up too much, I'll never get it back. Okay, let's just go in reverse. And there I go! <laughs> I solved it. Did you see that? It was awesome. World's smallest Tinker Toy. They come in a little canister, just like the Lincoln Logs. We can use them to build things like a swing. The world's smallest My Little Pony Retro Collection. These are my favorite so far. Teeny tiny My Little Ponies with hair you can really comb. We have several different characters for our dolls to collect. Looking at the collector's guide, I can see that there are My Little Ponies that I don't have, as well as Barbies. I searched all over town and couldn't find any. I do have one in my collection, so that's gonna have to work for now. It's so cool. Her head moves, her arms move, and her legs at the hip. I really like how all of those packs let you see what you're getting. But if you're willing to take a chance, there are surprise boxes. We can add to our Care Bear collection, possibly get a glow worm, and Barbie stuff. So I picked up a few. Okay, maybe more than a few. They also have mystery items, so who knows what we'll get. In our first box, we have something square. Oh, I'm gonna say this is a Rubik's Cube. There's a little notch so we can tear. And yeah, a Rubik's Cube, so we got a double here. This one comes in a case and is on a keychain. When you open it, you can see that it is larger than the other one. So this one is the world's smallest. I am still hoping for a Care Bear, a Glow Worm, or anything Barbie related. I can't tell what this is. No, I can. I think this is a Hot Wheel. Yep. A Hot Wheel. You can remove it from the little door in the back for a tiny Hot Wheels car that rolls. Let's try another one. I have a good feeling about this one. I have to eventually get something that I really want. I want to say this is the glow worm. I think it's the glow worm. Okay, where's the perforated edge? So we can free our glow worm. <laughs> yes! We got one! It is fuzzy with a faux zipper in the back. And when you add pressure, it glows! <laughs> I love this! I had one of these when I was little. Glowworm, check! Now hopefully one of these will have Barbie stuff or even Fisher Price. Uh-oh. This one shakes. It's probably Lincoln Logs. I bet it is. It feels like a Lincoln Logs container. And it is Lincoln Logs. Oh, <laughs> doubles! Only three to go. I have like the worst luck with blind boxes. Hopefully this is something awesome. Feels like it's in small pieces. I'm gonna say this is army men. Yep, army men. These could be cool in the dollhouse. You can paint them and have little figurines. Two more. This box doesn't shake or anything, so I'm guessing it's a plush of some kind. Maybe a Care Bear? Nope. It's a Hot Wheel. Am I right? Yep. I'm right, Hot Wheel. Hey, at least it's a different one this time. Last one. Please be Fisher Price. Or Barbie, please, please. And this feels like a magic eight ball. <laughs> Seriously. Nope, it's not a magic eight ball. It 
is some kind of creature. What is that? Open the little container for a creepy little face that <laughs> whenever you turn it, it turns another direction. I think these are called mad balls. Yep, that's what it is. Yep. Oh, it lights up. Oh, wasn't expecting that, but it's still not a Barbie. Overall, I got a few toys that I am really excited about. My Little Pony, love them. Working arcade games, the Care Bears, my Glowworm, and the Fisher-Price bus. This will look great in our doll nursery. On the back of the Light Bright, there's a little drawer for us to store the extra pegs and keep them safe until next time. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Super Impulse World's Smallest. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.